Before this review, I'd never seen Frozen. No particular reason, I just wasn't really interested. For six years, I've miraculously avoided every single detail about the film. The only thing I knew was that there was a song called Let It Go that some people found annoying, and even that was dubious. I say all this because I went into this film with absolutely no expectations whatsoever. This review is going to be like the few previous ones. I choose a topic that resonates with me, and I talk about it and how the film handles it. And I'm telling you this because I can't do Frozen like I can do Peter Pan or Lilo and Stitch, and it's not because it's a bad film. It's not. But this film has my thoughts wandering all over the place, so please bear with me because Frozen is a film that walks on thin ice when it comes to execution. First off, what exactly is the lesson we're learning here? Frozen wants this movie to ask what love is. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Anna has to learn what love really is. Elsa has to learn about love letting her control her powers. Olaf has to learn that sometimes people are worth melting for. Except that it just sort of came out of nowhere. I might have gotten behind that lesson. Love is a complex topic that I don't think is actually addressed nearly enough. You know, despite being in so many movies. But with Frozen, there's just so many other things you can say that are equally valid. This is a movie about loneliness. This is a movie about trust. This is a movie about reaching out and accepting someone, even if something comes between you. It's about fear. It's about how feeling apathetic is terrible. It's about family. Thing is, Frozen is about all of that. But despite having so much to say, it somehow manages to keep together enough that none of these emotional threads are distracting. This movie, despite not having an indisputable focus, is just so solid and competently made. The characters are multifaceted, the subplot is interwoven well with the main plot, the story knows where it's going and keeps at it, Olaf is actually funny, and these kinds of characters are rarely funny. Everything this movie attempts to do, it succeeds at beyond measure. Everything, except having a focused theme except having a topic to really talk about. Which leaves me not just with a video with no topic to talk about, it leaves me confused. Is there something I'm missing? I didn't feel like the entire plot paid off in the end, like the big emotional moment was earned. There's some sort of disconnect between the ending, the relationships between characters, the plot, and more. In spite of how well made the movie is, all those separate emotional threads aren't working together the way they should have. And that upsets me. A bit of a non sequitur, but let me tell you about the story of the Ice Queen. No, not the Snow Queen, which is what Frozen is based off of, but the Ice Queen, a different fairy tale that I read as a kid. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful Ice Queen. Though beautiful, her heart was frozen, and so she was uncaring and cruel. Suitors would come from all over to her castle high on a mountain to try and win her hand in marriage. Some brought gifts, other shows of poetry or strength, all pleading, all asking for her hand. And for each of them, when they'd said their pieces, the Ice Queen ordered her minions to throw them off the mountain, where they would die dashed against the stones below. Then came a young man, having heard stories of her beauty. Although nervous and unsure if he would succeed, he took the long journey up the mountain, stone by stone, cliff by cliff up the stony, frozen mountain. Sometimes he'd almost give up, but then he would remember who awaited him at the top, and the thought would warm him, until, eventually, he made it. He came before her throne and opened his mouth, but before he could speak and seal his fate, he stopped, stunned by her beauty, and said nothing. Minutes went by, hours, days in which he didn't speak, simply gazing at her entranced, and the Ice Queen, who had at first been annoyed, began to be intrigued. All her other suitors had been loudmouthed, or boasting, or wheedling, but this one said nothing, letting the moment speak for itself. But her minions saw this, and were filled with disgust. The idea that their queen would choose a suitor and possibly end their little game? No, they couldn't have that. The young man had not eaten or slept and was wasting away, but he still found strength to look into the queen's eyes, and the queen's heart began to thaw but her minions reached out and, without her orders, took the man and hurled him from the castle to his death. The queen's heart melted, and a tear dropped down into the icy summit, growing into a single flower that would always remain, growing from the barren ice where nothing else could. A sad story, but one I think Frozen could have learned from. 
Love melts an icy heart. That's the message they were going with. Simple, but poignant. And it doesn't have to be romance. It could be just as good or better with the love between sisters. We don't need Kristoff. We don't need Hans the Surprise Villain. We don't need the trolls or that old guy or Olaf. The Snow Queen, as well as the Ice Queen version I knew, are mature, emotional stories that require a very strict focus to pull off. Frozen doesn't do that. It mixes messages. It dilutes what it's trying to say. And so it doesn't reach perfection. Let me give you an alternative version of Frozen that takes out all the elements that it didn't need. We're gonna keep everything up until right after the trolls, but then mom and dad locking Elsa away and telling her to push her feelings aside actually succeeds. Elsa manages to control her powers, but she also ends up with a heart of ice, unable to know joy, fun, or how to truly live. And when mom and dad die, Elsa is still coronated queen, except she's unable to connect with her sister, or the townsfolk, or her responsibilities. She's been hidden for so long that when she's exposed to everything at once, she can't handle it. She loses control. Her ice lashes out and hurts people, maybe even Anna. And because deep down she truly cares about everyone, this hurts her. And you can't expect someone who's lived without feeling for so long to be fine with that pain. She does what she's been taught and pushes those feelings away, but now she dreads ever having to feel that again. So she runs away and becomes the Ice Queen in her frozen palace. Her sister Anna vows to get her back, and after enduring the cold, hard journey, followed by a cruel, unrelenting climb up the mountain, she finds her sister, who pushes her away. Anna has spent all this time and endured so many things because she loves Elsa with all her heart, but Elsa doesn't want to care for anyone because if she does, then it can hurt. Anna pushes and pushes, trying to get Elsa to come back, but Elsa eventually can't handle it anymore. In order to stay safe from the pain of feeling, she does what she thinks she has to, and freezes Anna solid. Except, right after she does that, Elsa loses control again. Anna was the one she loved most of all, and no matter how hard she tried not to feel anything, she couldn't stop loving her sister. And that's when we get this scene, and the solid ice walls of the castle melt down into a beautiful mountain meadow. No discussions of romance, no plots to take control of the kingdom, not even too many minor characters, no. Nothing but two sisters who care very much for each other, and the younger one helping the older one pull down her emotional walls and learning to love again. That's the story that I want to see. It's not going to be the story in the sequel, I'm sure of that. This is one of the times that I think Hollywood should just admit they made a mistake and remake the film better. So yeah, that's Frozen. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, because as I've said, I've somehow managed to avoid all discussions, so I'd really like to know your thoughts on it. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button, but most of all, have a good day.